It's been said that AI has the potential to revolutionize the way that creative designers work over the next 20 years. Well, in this video, we're going to explore three ways that my product design agency is going to integrate AI within our processes over the next 12 months. My name is Phil, I've run a design agency for the last 12 years, and along with my team, we've explored various different ways that we can bring AI into our process. I think these integrations with AI will dramatically improve the quality of the end product for the user, whilst also improving the design from the perspective of the client as well. So if you're a product designer, or you're a business owner or entrepreneur with a new idea, and you're looking to get started on product development, then this video is for you. Make sure you watch until the end of the video to understand all the benefits that it's gonna to bring to the design process. We're going to use AI to create initial concepts as part of innovation workshops. Now often what will happen in an innovation workshop is that we'll hit a bit of a slow point, we've come up with lots of ideas, so is our client or our client's team as input as well, but it's slowing down a bit, we're losing a bit of energy. Well actually we can use AI and what I mean by this is, as you can see from the images on the screen, you know, what it's doing is it's creating concepts that spur further creative thinking. None of those concepts on their own are new ideas that we could then run with, but it does get people thinking, it does get people going, oh actually that isn't right, but if we combined it with this, or that looks like this, it isn't in terms of what the AI has done, but actually it could be that, and that could be really interesting in terms of a new feature for the product. So it really is just about inspiring that creative thinking process and ensuring that actually the momentum continues in terms of coming up with and bouncing lots of new ideas off each other in that kind of a setting. Now please make sure you do hit subscribe, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I'm launching new videos which will help with your overall design process. Another way we're looking to integrate AI within our design process is to use it for generative design. Now this is really exciting because what you can do is use AI in combination with CAD software to create a range of iterative design concepts that are continually tested and evaluated to improve the performance of those parts. Now you can do this obviously with a designer, but the problem is that you're limited by the designer's knowledge. That's where you basically have to start from in terms of creating the first concept. But with AI, actually you start from the set of design constraints, but this is where you harness the power of AI to test and refine multiple solutions simultaneously. And often what you end up with is highly complex or lattice-based designs that are quite organic in form that would be very difficult for a designer with the human brain to have ever actually computed and, and come up with. It's also a hell of a lot quicker than it would have been for a designer to have gone through a series of iterative designs one at a time to get to the end point. And that can mean that you can end up with very high performance components that are lighter weight, stronger, more cost effective to manufacture, and where you minimize material usage as well. So that's really about complementing the power of AI to create multiple different solutions, test and refine very quickly, along with the ability of a designer to set the constraints for the AI and to make sure that actually what's developed hits the right criteria. Before we look at the third way that we're going to include AI within our design process over the next year, I just wanna look at another innovative tool for designers that I think is the future, and that's Onshape, who sponsor this video. Traditional CAD systems, it takes a long time to get started when a new team forms. Even though there may be many users, each user really works by themselves. They use checkout and check-in processes to avoid clobbering each other's work. These approaches are the very antithesis of Agile. What Onshape is enabling fundamentally is Agile product development. There is simply no faster way to a high quality work product than the highly iterative, highly collaborative, exploratory and non-deterministic methodology called Agile. Because it's still quite novel to use Agile for hardware development. But using Onshape, you're leading the pack in terms of changing that. We are also now using AI to develop a range of different concepts in different styles. So once the brief is tied down, maybe we started to get the functionality tied down as well so we know what the USP is going to be. Then actually before our designers get their hands on that and start to style that and add in materials and colors and touch points and 
texture breaks and all of that kind of stuff. Actually, what we can do is produce a range of different uh, concepts using AI. Now, they're not quite the same as the client's concept at this stage, but what they can do is get the client to say, oh no, I definitely don't like that. Or, well, I said minimalist, but actually I didn't really mean minimalist. What I meant was this instead. And so what we can do is just use AI, chuck out a whole lot of different concept styles and go, well, you know, what do you want out of all of this lot? What did you really mean? And if we can tie down their brief, then what we can do is take that style and we can apply it directly to their concept. Now, AI is great for this because the problem is if you've got a defined idea from a client and then you do some nice photorealistic renders, they think it's basically done and ready to go into production. But of course, we all know there's loads of work that's got to go on to get to the point where it's manufacturable. But with AI, what we can do is produce renders of something that looks quite similar to their concept, but it's still clearly not their concept. And so it's a bit easier for them to appreciate then, I guess, the development that's still got to happen. Make sure you watch my next video, which is all about the value of product designer ads that AI can never replace.